Good evening, everyone. Right, I haven't posted about the Axlotl for quite a long time, mainly because they've just been ticking over, living their lives, very happy. Um, I've come home tonight, I've been away for a night, to a bit of a disaster. My filter broke last week, my external one, which I've had for six years since I got this tank. And I'd also fed them pellets the day before, which they're not a fan of, but I'd struggled to get hold of worms. And the combination meant the water quality wasn't good. I gave a half tank water change and we looked okay. I ordered a filter online um, and I thought they'll be fine for one night while I'm away. Well, I came home to a horrible smell. Cloudy water and axolotls floating. Oh, yeah, not good. Not good at all. I've fished them all out and they are all alive. So we've got Jelly Bean, who's the one I really worried about. Um, who's my copper there. Jax and Lottie. So I got them straight out, put them in tubs with um, Prime in. And they are looking a lot better now than they did a couple of hours ago. They're at least moving their girls and looking a bit better, but Lottie, sorry, Lottie was the only one moving. These two were floating and didn't even move when I turned the lights on or prodded, which is obviously a real, real worry. But like I say, they're looking okay, but they've obviously got burnt tips and they've got fungus just from that one night. But obviously stuff has been going on the tank, in the tank for longer than that. They don't look great, but they're alive. So I've taken out a lot of water. I've gone through all the sand. I've taken out all the live plants, the natural plants, because I just don't want to factor that in. And what I'm going to do now, I ordered an internal filter, high powered one, the day before I went. Unfortunately, it arrived two hours after I left, which is why I hadn't put it in. So I'm going to get that in, get that running once I've topped the tank up. See if we can get the water clear. If I can, I will run some prime in. And if that's all looking okay, I'll put the axolotls back in. But let's get to that stage and see how we're doing. Okay, that's the tank topped back up. Time to get the filter sorted and get that set up. It's a long time since I've had an internal filter, but I've gone for one this time because I've always struggled with that external to empty it and to get it going again after emptying. So I'm just doing a quick read up, getting this set up, and we'll get it on. Right, one of the reasons I don't have an internal filter, when you get to the power and the strength needed for this size tank, they are a lot noisier. And also you can see the amount of airflow, which isn't ideal for Axlotl. But my tank is deep enough that they can stay down, and that's fine. I bought it as a sort of get round, see how it does. If it's not going to be enough, and if the axolotl will obviously survive, I will get another external filter. Let me have a little play around with the top and see if I can get that sort of airflow a bit less. That's better. I've turned the filter and put it on the back of the tank. So it means this corner here has got a lot of airflow, but all the rest of the tank is fine. So we'll see how that goes and whether it clears it up. Oh, this is really reassuring that they're starting to move around a bit. I really hope we can get these guys through. I feel absolutely terrible and I cannot believe they've detected in what's all in, in all honesty probably four or five days since they didn't eat the pellets and I had to do a half tank change and then the filter broke. We've got to get you three guys. You've been with me six years now. Seven years, because of course I have them for a year before I got this tank. Right. Filter's going to do its job. Hopefully, decloud that. 
let's see how it goes. Right, well we are clearing but we're not cleared. But these guys are looking so much happier. Right, I've put them back in. Although it's not cleared, it's the best place for them. So they've got prime. They're in there. It's time for us all to go to bed. This has made for a very, very long evening. And we'll see what they're like in the morning. Right, well, we're morning. Two of the axolotls we're near the top and have just swum down, which is brilliant to see, considering they weren't moving at all yesterday. Um, obviously this filter's not quite doing the job I want, but it's obviously keeping them a lot happier. I think today one of my jobs is going to an aquarium shop and seeing what else I can find. And if I can't find anything different, I'll at least put a sponge over this filter to lessen the flow. Right, that's Jelly being out and about. He's just been for a swim. He is struggling with the airflow. If I had a clean sponge in the house, something suitable, I'd put it straight on the filter now. I don't. Um, and it's more important that they're getting the correct water right now. So I'm off out this morning. I'll buy one this morning. When I get back, I will clean that filter because obviously it's had a lot of work to do in one night and then put the sponge on and we'll see how we're going. This is amazing to see, I'm so happy to see him looking like this. Yes, he looks a bit of a mess, but he's alive, he's up, he's doing. Like I say, we'll sort the filter out later. I'll get him some more worms ordered. One of the big problems I've been having is keeping worms decent. Lottie there, and Jelly Bean on top of the cave. Absolutely brilliant. Right, well I've got home this evening. The Axolotl are all looking nice and active, which is excellent. Um, tank's still very cloudy. I've got a bit of pipe to try making a spray bar for the filter. I've been had a chat with a lovely lady in an aquatic shop. So I'm going to try that and I'm also going to take a load more water out and change over again. I've had to buy a new bucket. I broke my bucket last night and a new hose because my hose boat broke a couple of weeks ago. So I'm now a lot more geared up to take out quite a bit more of this water and let's see if we can get this tank how I'd like it. I am absolutely loving my new bucket. That is so much easier and so much quicker. I'm getting loads more debris out tonight and really stirring up the sand so that there's definitely no air pockets left to give us the best chance of clearing itself up. Now the axolotl are looking really happy now. The cloudy water, to be honest, is more for the looks of things rather than their welfare. Last night was about their welfare. It was getting these axolotl living, breathing. Yeah, it was pretty horrible, really. Um, but like I say, getting the tank now clear. A lot for me, but also I want to put some shrimp in, in a minute and they need to be able to see them. It's really pretty satisfying watching the debris come out. Um, this is part of having live plants. And because the whole system in here has broken down in the last few days, the live plants have done so as well. So it's now a case of getting all those particles out. These filters are brilliant. I've seen how much they've gone up in cost since I last bought one. It's pretty scary but they really do make such a difference. Sorry, not filter, siphon. I haven't got my words tonight. I think this bucket and that will do. 
Okay, new hose. I have been seeing Q today. It really saves my back, but lesson learned. I don't ever let go of the hose when it's in the house. Having just said I never let go of the hose, really useful on this one. Added bonus. There's a clip on it. It's a clip just on the inside of the glass. Having the right tools really does make the job so much easier. I love that new hose. Okay, so that's water topped up. I haven't fussed too much about how the decor is or anything. This is all about keeping these guys alive. Look at how much better he looks already. I'm sorry, little guys, but we'll get you back to being okay. Right, I have adapted a spray bar from my last pump, sorry, my last filter to this one. So I'm now gonna set it up and turn it on, see if it works. That is working much better with a spray bar. Still a bit too powerful. I'm gonna to have to have a real think about that, but it is doing the job. And um, the axolotls are fine with it because it's such a large tank. Um, I could even turn it actually to face, if I put it back on the back of the tank and turn the bar towards the glass, that might help. Right, let's do that. I couldn't quite do that because it didn't fit, but I've managed to put it back onto the side and turn the spray bar towards the back of the tank. So I'm now going to leave these guys, turn the lights off, give them a half hour, and then we'll put the shrimp in that we got for them today. This is starting to look a whole lot better now. Right, I'm going to pop the shrimp in, and then leave them to it. That pump is incredibly loud, I wouldn't be able to deal with that long term. Well, Lottie's at his first one. Um, I've got worms on order, so they'll arrive in a couple of days, but this is a really nice treat for them. And as I was in the area today where I get them from, they have them in stock, I couldn't resist. So there we go, I am so incredibly happy that I haven't lost my axolotl. It is absolutely brilliant. They're such characters, I really do love them. So yeah, I'm really, really happy. And I will sort the filter out. I'll get another one in time, but for now, this is doing the trick. So I'm going to say goodbye, I'll take care everyone, and we'll see you all soon. Right, let's see how we're looking this morning. Okay, so water isn't clear yet, but the axolotls are all up and healthy and happy. I was watching Jack swim earlier. So I've still got work to do, but they're going to come back from this. So that is absolutely amazing. I'm over the moon that we're alive. So there you go guys, learn from my lessons. If they don't like pellets, don't feed them. You'll end up with a heavy waste mass. And really keep an eye on your filters. Um, I will still probably change this one, but for now, it does the job. So take care everyone, and we'll see you all soon.